हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इस एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड इंट्रोडक्शन टू एंगल मॉड्यूलेशन द एंगल मॉड्यूलेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ अल्टरिंग आइदर फ्रीक्वेंसी आर फेज ऑफ द कैरियर सिग्नल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू इंस्टेंटेनियस वैल्यू ऑफ मैसेज सिग्नल by keeping amplitude of carrier constant so angle modulation is a process of altering either frequency or phase of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal so here if we alter the frequency of the carrier signal or phase of the carrier signal with respect to the instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude of the carrier signal constant it is known as angle modulation generally angle modulation can be given as s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t let us call this as equation number 1 here ac is the amplitude of carrier signal and theta i of t is the angle of the modulated signal angle modulation can be further divided into two types first one is frequency modulation generally known as fm and phase modulation generally known as pm the frequency modulation is a process of altering frequency of carrier signal with respect to the instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude and phase of carrier signal as constant so frequency modulation is a process in which we will be altering the frequency of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping amplitude and phase of the carrier signal as constant so only the frequency of carrier signal is varied by keeping amplitude and phase of carrier signal as constant in case of frequency modulation generally frequency modulation can be represented as s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus 2 pi kf integration of m of t dt let us take this as equation number 2 so this is the general representation of frequency modulation here kf is frequency sensitivity parameter and m of t is the message signal now let us understand phase modulation phase modulation is a process of altering phase of carrier signal with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping frequency and phase of carrier signal constant so phase modulation is a process in which the phase of the carrier signal is altered with respect to instantaneous value of message signal by keeping frequency and phase of carrier signal constant generally we can represent phase modulation as s of t is equal to ac cos 2 pi fct plus kp m of t let us take this as equation number 3 so this is the general representation of phase modulation here kp is phase sensitivity parameter so kp is phase sensitivity parameter 
and m of t is the message signal now let us understand some basic definitions the most common angle modulation that is used is frequency modulation we will see some basic definitions with respect to frequency modulation first let us understand the instantaneous frequency mathematically the instantaneous frequency can be written as fi of t that can be written as fc plus kf m of t from figure we can understand that when m of t is equal to 0 at that case the instantaneous frequency will be equal to fc when m of t is maximum or at peak value of m of t we can say the instantaneous frequency is equal to fc plus kf am so we can say from figure we can write when m of t is equal to 0 then the instantaneous frequency will be equal to fc so if we say fc which means the instantaneous frequency will be same as the unmodulated carrier frequency at peak value of m of t the instantaneous frequency will be equal to fc plus kf am so this is the maximum frequency of fm signal now let us understand angle of fm signal which is theta i of t so we can relate the instantaneous value of theta i of t of fm signal to its instantaneous frequency fi of t as fi of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi d by dt theta i of t so instantaneous value of theta i of t of fm signal can be related with the instantaneous frequency fi of t as fi of t is equal to 1 by 2 pi d by dt theta i of t now let us see maximum frequency deviation delta f maximum it is the difference between maximum frequency of fm signal to that of unmodulated carrier frequency so we can define the maximum frequency deviation as the difference between the maximum frequency of fm signal to that of unmodulated carrier the frequency so we can write delta f maximum is equal to maximum frequency of fm signal minus frequency of carrier signal so we can write delta f maximum is equal to f i t maximum minus f c since f i t maximum is equal to f c plus k f a m we can write delta f maximum is equal to f c plus k f a m minus fc so we can cancel out these two terms therefore we can write delta f maximum is equal to kf am so this is the formula for maximum frequency deviation which is delta f maximum is equal to kf into am so this is also shown in this figure where we are taking the maximum frequency deviation as delta f is equal to kf am now let us understand carrier swing the carrier swing is the difference between maximum and minimum frequencies of fm signal if you consider this diagram here this region is known as carrier swing where it is the difference between the maximum and minimum frequencies of fm signal so maximum frequency is given as fc plus kf am minimum frequency is given as fc minus kf am so if we take the difference between these two value we'll get the carrier swing
therefore carrier swing is the difference between the maximum and minimum values so maximum value is fc plus kf am minus fc minus kf am so we can write fc plus kf am minus fc plus kf am so we can cancel out these two fc values so we can write k of am plus k of am which is equal to 2 k of am so k of am we know it is the maximum frequency deviation so we can write that as 2 delta f maximum so this is obtained by taking the difference between the maximum frequency of fm signal minus the minimum frequency of fm signal which is nothing but the frequency swing now let us see modulation index of fm signal that can be represented as beta so we can define modulation index as the ratio of maximum frequency deviation to that of frequency of message signal it is denoted by the symbol beta so it is the ratio of maximum frequency deviation to that of the frequency of message signal so it is denoted by the symbol beta so modulation index is denoted by the symbol beta so we can write beta is equal to delta f maximum divided by fm so modulation index is not having any unit so these definitions are very important for the examinations this is about introduction to angle modulation hope you have understood the topic thank you